Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for Your Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. Today is March the 22nd of 2017 and coming on to do a little couponer chat with you guys today. So I'm going to um, continue my series on um, donating out of your stockpile. Today's topic is why you don't want to donate everything away out of your stockpile. Why you need to keep some things, okay? And... Um, I've made other videos in this series. They're linked in a playlist called Donating from My Stockpile or something like that. And I have it linked on my YouTube homepage. I'll put a link to it in the um, uh, notes field on this video too. So my first reason why you don't want to give everything away is, you know, the whole reason that we coupon is to get things for uh, cheap or free or make money off of it really and um, have the stuff available when you need it and you know if if you think that you know oh i got a tube of toothpaste and then you just went out and got you know five more for free and you just go and give those away what are you going to do when you run out and so i think it's important to think about how much or how fast your family uses particular items that you know that we're we're buying as couponers and how much do you need and how you know for like the next six months and you keep enough for yourself. I think six months is a good amount of time um, to have a stockpile of items for, and um, and I'll get into that a little bit later on why. And so, um, yeah, in everything, I'm talking about laundry soap, um, you know, shampoo, <laughs> food, and, um, you know, just everything in anything. And, you know, some things don't expire. So, like, having more, like, if, if you were getting aluminum foil for free, like, why not have a whole lot of aluminum foil, right? If you, <laughs> if you got space to keep it, right? Because it's not going to go bad. And um, so, you know, think about it like this. Um, you know, when it comes to groceries and, and cooking dinner, like, you should be shopping out of your pantry at your house and not run into the grocery store every day to buy dinner. Because you're going to most likely be paying full price, buying things on a whim, you know, when the whole point of this couponing and saving money this way is to get food at the lowest price. So you can stock up on canned goods and box good things like that, things that go in the freezer and um, save a lot of money. And then when it comes time to eat, <laughs> you shop out of your pantry. You don't go shop at the grocery store for dinner. Okay. And, um, and that's why you need to keep you know, yourself a nice stockpile so that you have, um, what it is that you might need. Um, yeah. So my second thing is, is in case of emergencies and emergencies can be a lot of different things. Okay. <laughs> like what if you lost your job all of a sudden and the only source of income for your family is gone? I mean, we have a stockpile you've already saved all this money on these items and you have it ready. That's why I say like six months because, you know, you need to give yourself time if there is that kind of emergency or you broke your leg and you can't go to work for, you know, six weeks or something like that. Um, so it's a backup plan. And um, so, and I really believe in that and I think it's important. Natural disasters happen and things like that. Um, the tornado came through, the power went out, you know, for a week or something. I mean, I, we, um, I live in Southern Indiana across the Ohio river from Louisville, Kentucky. And believe it or not, we had the hurricane. I came here, actually made it to Indiana and like everybody was devastated at the same time and everybody was out of power. Okay. And people lost all their food. You know, I went nine days without having power at my house. And so, um, fortunately, <laughs> you know, I was able to take care of myself. Um, but you know, I saw on the news, a lot of people down in Louisville who were getting ready to riot because all the food they had was in their refrigerator and they couldn't go buy food and they were getting ready to riot because they felt like the government should be giving them some food. And, you know, I like to be in a place where I can take care of myself. I don't need to rely on the government um, to provide anything for me or anybody. You know, I want to take care of myself. So I want to have a stockpile. Therefore, I don't want to give all my stuff away. <laughs> okay. And, um, 
uh, that's just an example. So, you know, things like that happen. All right. Um, and I'll tell you what else happened at the time, because everybody across the board was in the same situation. Okay out of power, you know, losing a lot of food, or people just didn't even have it. There were, you know, runs on all the, the food at the grocery stores, you know, it was hard to get your hands on food at the time. So, you know, it's the kind of thing you got to think about, um, and why you need to hold on to some stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, and of course, if you, you do keep a supply of things you need to be rotating it so you know if you buy some new toothpaste put it at the back and move the the old stuff to the front and keep rotating it around and then you shouldn't have a problem and you especially need to do that with food so you're not worrying about this stuff expiring and um, I, I want to make some other videos about that I was looking at a website that the government put up um, it's www.ready.gov and um, actually I was thinking about like it would be like I could make a good series of videos about things that they talk about on that website um, as a as a preparedness thing for uh, the future events that could happen and probably will. Um, so anyways, uh, that that's a good website to look at uh, about creating a stockpile. So anyways, I hope that gives you some ideas on why you shouldn't give everything away. Just because you think you have too much <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean that you do. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, my next video, I'm going to talk about finding places to donate to. And um, yeah, because, you know, I give stuff away. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later.